Hi, today we're going to talk about adding a widget to your WordPress blog. For those of you that are new to WordPress, this is your dashboard. And as you can see, uh, all of your uh, items are listed in the main area here. Your post pages, categories, tags. And on the left hand side, you see the main portions of your dashboard. Now where we're going to go is right down here to appearance and then to widget. Now WordPress comes with some built-in widgets such as calendar, archives, and then there's some widgets that I've gone and added like ad squares. These are for putting advertising placements on your blog. So I'm going to open up the primary sidebar here. And as you can see, I already have an ad squares widget added. So what I would do is uh, put the ad squares widget, you can take it out or you can put it back in. You would open it up and you would place in here your code for your advertising. Uh, most people know what these codes are, they're button codes and you can change, you can have up to eight ad codes at a time. Uh, right now I'm just using two and you can randomly shuffle them or have that on yes or select to no, I have it set to no. And then you just go ahead and save and you can leave the padding here the way that it is. And if you want to see what the ad uh, scores look like, then we're just going to go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like. So I've gone ahead and refreshed, and this is my main site from JS Designs. And as you come down here, you can see my two ads are placed here side by side. Now what happens if you want to add a uh, widget with nothing but text here? As you can see, I've got um, all of this coding written in here and all of this coding is for this area up here which is my subscribe and socialize I have all of my buttons here listed and I've got my updates and my subscribe button now a lot of people ask where do you get these little buttons how do you add them how do you add the pictures in order to make them work and make them clickable such as if I click on Pinterest we're jumping over and you're landing on my Pinterest page. So the easiest way to get and make these clickable is to um, uh, go ahead and I'm going to open up my web browser and just gonna go up here I'm going to show you in my web browser. I'm going to type in photo bucket <clears throat> my account. And I'm going to log into my account and I'm going to show you how I get these little buttons here to uh, show up in a widget on my sidebar of my blog. So I'll go back and wait for photo bucket to load up. So this is photo bucket. This is what it looks like. If you don't have a photo bucket account, you really need to think of uh, of getting yourself one. So if I scroll down here, I'm going to view my library. And I'm going to go down here. Now as you can see, I've got my Twitter, my little Twitter icon here. Now here's the area that you want to take a look at right in here. Um, and right now it's got a Hotmail code. You want to click on that and that is copied. Then what you want to do is you want to come back here and you want to load up, and this is your, we're back at our WordPress dashboard. I've loaded up a text widget, which is, uh, can be found down here. It's just arbitrary text or Hotmail. So what I've done is, as you can see, and I'm going to separate these for you for a second so you can see. This right here, this is the code from photo bucket this is the hotmail code right here that I just copied what I'm gonna do is I'm, I paste this 
into here. And then in order to get them side by side, you want to leave them just a, a couple of spaces in between. So about three spaces. So I go one, two, three, like this. And here's what you need to know what to change. This is the only thing you need to change. This URL right here needs to point to your Twitter account, to your Facebook account. And you can add as many buttons as you want. Once you get all the buttons done, then you want to click Save and Close and go back up and we're just going to refresh again. And that's how these buttons are here or on the sidebar here. Now for adding Facebook, WordPress has something very, very easy and it's actually found in your plugin section. It's called Jetpack. I highly recommend keeping Jetpack and using it. Jetpack makes it really simple to add a Facebook like box, which I've done through here. And all you do is type in a title for, you know, find me on Facebook or join us on Facebook. Type in the URL of the page. You can set the width and the height to whatever fits the size of your blog. You can have the color scheme as light or dark. You can show faces, show stream, show wall. I choose to just show faces. And uh, leave it at that. And what you get is this like box so that when people land on your page, they can click like and they can find you on Facebook. So that is the step-by-step -step simple way to add widgets to your sidebar. And I will be doing more on uh, tutorials on this coming up. Hope you enjoyed.